Mounting your camera on the new DJI RSC2 is a lot easier than it used to be on the old DJI Ronin SC. So that's a big plus, you know, as an upgrade for the new DJI RSC2. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it vertically and horizontally. So they've now added these new D screws that make it completely tool free to set up the Ronin SC2. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video and how to switch seamlessly from horizontal to vertical video shooting. So it's super easy and takes no time at all. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. When you first take your RSC2 out the box, it looks exactly like this. So, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to balance your camera on the new DJI RSC2, but I'm going to be using my Canon EOS M50 camera. I'm also going to be using the camera riser, the D screw, and the quick release plate tool free system, which DJI Ronin has added to the new DJI RSC2. Before you begin, you want to make sure that all the arms are locked and you want to make sure that your gimbal looks exactly like mine right here. So you want to have the arms pointing this way and you want to have the Ronin SC2 text facing outwards. I'm going to begin this tutorial by unlocking the arms and setting it up how it's supposed to be before you start balancing. So let's, let's do that. What I've done here is I've unlocked each arm and I've set it up so it's easier to, you know, always balance. You always want to have it like this before you balance your gimbal anytime. For the next step, I'm going to attach the camera riser, the quick release plate and the camera together. So I'm going to attach all three pieces together. Just make sure you tighten the screw because if you don't tighten it, you'd probably have to do this entire process over again, you know, after already balancing the camera on the gimbal. Before you have to use a screwdriver right here, but now they've got this little handle making it easier to balance and quicker to balance. You want to make sure that this lock right here is in the unlocked position. As you can see, mine is already in the unlocked position right there. And then you want to push down on this button right here as you slide the camera on it. I'm going to push on that button right now and slide my camera on. And then you lock the little lock-in mechanism back here, so to keep the camera in place. Right there. As you can see, we've got this done. We've got the camera attached to the camera riser and the quick release plate. So we're going to balance this on the gimbal right now. Next up, we're going to place the camera on the gimbal and balance it. I've got all the arms locked right now. First, I'm going to make sure this arm is also unlocked on this axis, which is the tilt axis. So I'm going to make sure this arm right here is unlocked before I slide my camera on there. So you check for it and you unlock. If it's locked, you're not going to be able to place your camera on there. You unlock that and then you push a button, which is just along the side here. This button right here is what you want to push as you slide the camera on. I'm going to push on that button. And then you want to have the camera kind of halfway. So the quick release plates, you want to have it kind of balanced halfway across the tilt axis. After sliding the camera on the gimbal, you want to lock that locking mechanism that you had just unlocked before you slid the camera on there. Now we have it in the locked position. What we're going to do next is now we're going to unlock each arm and start to balance the camera across the three axes. There's three axes that you have to no make a note of. So the first one is the tilt axis right here. Then there's a roll axis, which is right here. Finally, and last but not the least, is the pan axis. This one right here. So it's the last one we also balance. So we're going to start with the tilt and we're going to go from there all the way down to the pan. So I'm going to flip this around again. Like I said, you want to have the Ronin SC text pointing outwards in the same direction as the camera before you start to balance. Next thing I'm going to do now is unlock the tilt axis and begin to balance. So I have it unlocked right now as you can see it's now in free fall. First thing you want to do with the balancing is you want to make sure that the camera is pointing upwards after releasing the lock on the tilt axis. So I'm going to try to adjust this little arm so it's pointing upwards. To do that I have to unlock this little knob right here. So I'm going to unlock this knob. Okay, now I have it unlocked. I'm just going to adjust this little arm until it's pointing upwards. You tighten that knob right back and then you push this downwards. So you try to adjust the quick release plate along the tilt axis until the camera is just facing forward without locking the tilt axis arm. To do that, you want to unlock this arm, the arm you had unlocked and locked, you know, when you were sliding the camera on there. That same locking mechanism, I'm going to unlock it again right there. Just make sure you're watching your camera so you don't drop it. And then you want to just adjust along the tilt axis until it's just balanced enough to stay by itself. Just pointing forward right there as you can see. So I've balanced the tilt axis. What I got to do now is lock the locking mechanism again. I'm going to unlock the roll axis arm and then balance along the roll axis. So right there as you can see the weight is 
heavier on one side of the roll axis than the other side so we want to adjust the roll arm until it's no longer you know tilted in one direction and it's more centered so I'm going to unlock the knob like I did with the tilt axis and then adjust the arm so there's two ways you could do this you can always do this along the roll axis and you can always do it along this little tilt axis right here as well because you can move this same thing along the side I'll show you guys that in a second here so this is just with the regular roll axis you can see it's now balanced I'm gonna unbalance it again and show you how to do it with this if you haven't seen my comparison video between the Ronin SC and the RSC2 you should probably check it out but in that video I explained that this arm the roll arm on the original Ronin SC could not be adjusted so you cannot adjust along the roll arm and that was one of the biggest problems when it comes you know to balance and have your setups on that one but on this new RSC2 it's very possible so that's that's a great new addition right there let's get back to this I'm gonna unbalance this right quick and then balance it along the tilt axis so now it's unbalanced again to balance the roll arm along the tilt axis we're going to use this little mechanism right here so there is one more lock that's just underneath right here this lock right here is what you're going to want to unlock so you can move it along the roll axis. So you want to be able to move along the roll axis on the tilt axis to balance the roll arm. I'm going to unlock this mechanism right here and then adjust the camera along that axis. Now this moves along this axis as you can see right now. So you can also balance it using this. Just adjust until it stays right in place. So as you can see right now, I've done the same thing and balanced it without using the roll arm. So that's basically it for that one. I'm gonna move on to the pan arm right now and do that. Next thing you wanna do is lock that arm again. As always, make sure to always check that all your arms are locked, especially when you're balancing. You do not want to drop your camera. Last but not the least, the pan arm, which is this arm right here. So I'm gonna unlock this arm which is the bottom one here what you have to do for this is you have to flip the entire setup around and then tilt the gimbal to see if it tilts in one direction more than another so it's not supposed to tilt in any direction it's supposed to kind of stay in the same position when you tilt it so I'm gonna show you guys that right now So as you can see right there, the camera was not balanced. What you want to do is you want to adjust this arm. So unlock this knob right here and adjust this arm until every time you tilt it, it just stays in the same position. So that's basically trial and error. So you have to keep trying to adjust until you find that sweet spot. It's not going to take that long, to be honest. I'm going to do that right quickly right now. So right now I've got the pan arm balanced better. As you can see, it's not tilting in either direction. So it's staying put and that's what we kind of want right here. So I'm gonna place the setup back down and tighten the knob. So the ultimate goal that you wanna get to when you're mounting or balancing anything on any gimbal is right here. So you wanna make sure that when every single arm is unlocked that your camera just stays centered right there. As you can see, I got every arm open and it just stays at the center before turning it on. Now I'm going to turn on the gimbal and then it's going to wake up. Right there, as you can see, the gimbal is all set up and it's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to take it outside and do some gimbal moves with it so you guys can see how it looks. And also show you guys how to switch from this mode, which is horizontal mode, to vertical mode. Okay, so we're now outside and I'm gonna show you how this looks when it's balanced. So that's how it would look in horizontal mode. To switch to vertical mode, which is now called portrait mode, you have to double tap the mode button, which is just down here underneath the record button. So you tap it twice quickly. You can see right there, it switched to vertical mode. So shoot with it, basically, right there. Okay, so that's vertical mode right there. I'm gonna switch back to horizontal mode by double tapping M again. See how seamless that is? So you can easily go from shooting in horizontal mode to vertical mode and vice versa. I hope you learned something from that video right there. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe you know, to my channel. If you enjoy videos like this, when I wanna see some more content like this, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas and I am out.